credits aren't cheap. They're an investment in your home and community. So it makes sense to give them a healthy start in life. Hi Aurora, I'm Diana Denwood, Senior Water Conservation Specialist. And in this video, I'll teach you about proper planting techniques for perennials, shrubs, and ornamental grasses. But let's back up a minute. You want to start with a healthy plant. If you're selecting your own plants, look for signs of problems. Wilting, yellow or spotted leaves, thin and spindly form, insects, or fungus on the soil surface. Those are signs of stress or disease. Also, check the roots. If the plant is root bound and you see the roots growing out of the bottom of the pot, the plant has been in that pot a long time and you may have difficulty adapting it to your landscape. Now that you've found healthy plants, you're going to need a shovel, a hand trowel, a garden knife or a tool with a sharp edge, compost, and a hose with a nozzle or a watering can. Rake mulch from the planting area. Accidentally mixing mulch into your soil will steal nitrogen from your growing plant. Your plant may be root bound, meaning it has been living in the pot for too long and its roots are overgrown. If your plant is root bound, carefully remove it from the pot. You may need to cut roots that have grown through the holes. Hold it firmly by the base and using your garden knife or sharp edge, make at least four cuts in the side of the root ball. Tease the roots apart. If the ball is very root bound at the bottom, you'll see roots circling around. Then you should cut off that entire tough base about one inch. This may feel wrong, but it helps your plant. Think of it as tough love. Here's the traditional method of planting. Using your shovel, Dig a hole twice as wide and just as deep as the root ball. This will give the roots a wide transition area between their original growing medium, the loosened soil and compost mix you've just created, and the native soil. Pile the soil in one spot. Add one pot full of compost to your soil pile and mix it together. Put the plant in the hole and check its depth. Adjust if necessary. Fill the hole with the soil mixture, pressing the soil to reduce air pockets as you go. Air pockets damage roots. Here's the bare root method of planting. This method attempts to remove as much of the soil and growing medium from the root ball as possible before planting. Gently massage and shake soil off the roots. Fill a bucket with water and dunk the root ball in, removing the rest of the soil. You may need to do this several times. You may also need to adjust the depth of the hole. When you're ready, fill in the hole carefully, keeping the roots intact by holding the plant at the correct position while you place soil around it. Press firmly to reduce air pockets as you go. When the hole is filled, firmly press the soil around the plant. Build a small berm with any remaining soil mixture. This will act as a dam to concentrate water directly at the roots while you're watering. Finally, water in your new planting. Use a watering can or gentle setting on your hose nozzle. If you use the bare root method, just use the water from the bucket. The root mass is small and shallow at this time, so it won't need much water. Your baby plant friend will need frequent and shallow watering. As it grows and expands its root system, you'll want to taper off the frequency of watering, but increase the amount each watering session. This will encourage the roots to grow deep into the soil and become drought resistant. Now your plant's set up for the good life. To recap, start with a healthy plant, address root issues with tough love, use compost, plant at the correct depth, and water frequently but shallowly. Use your water wisely by planting right the first time. Check out our WaterWise Gardening videos on our YouTube channel, Aurora Water Colorado.